Hi everyone. Welcome to Be a Naomi. I don't really count days, but I think 14th day at home, staying inside until when they tell us that it's safe to go outside. And so anyway, I'm here talking to you. Everyone knows I'm from London, born and bred. Because I travel so much, I didn't want to be a harm to my mother or my grandmothers or my family. So I felt the best place was to stay here at home in New York and keep them safe from me. Last end of November, beginning of December, when I was back in London, I was working and we did the Fashion for Release show in September and we decided to do a pop-up with Westfield for five days where people can come in and buy many amazing things from many amazing designers that brands that we all know who are gracious and giving to us to raise funds. And this year we raised funds all for education. I was also there to receive the British Fashion Icon Award. So, I'm in Westfield and um, I'm looking for my pop-up store. <laughs> Fashion for Relief pop-up store. Oh, there we are. Oh, wow. Exciting. Well, hello. I missed you. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> Baba. very cute but I think we have to fill the shelves a bit more I don't want it to look bare okay replenish 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 I mean right now it's going to be ready tomorrow it's looking it's going to be ready tomorrow have faith I have faith all right y'all I'll see you tomorrow One thing I like to do when I go to London is to go to Marks and Spencer's Food Hall. It's one of my favorite things. It's something I've always done and known since I was a child. It's just comforting and makes me feel at home. So I always try to pop in there and pick up my favorite things. I just love ice buns. I just like sweets, especially when I'm home. Like I love English chocolate. If you go in my kitchen now, you'll find a whole tray of it. <laughs> it's just comforting. It just reminds me of growing up and it's just something I have a taste for. It's not all the time that I do it, but it was a special holiday. It was Thanksgiving, so I wanted to do it and I wanted to get some for everyone else. I'm very cautious when I do press in England. As everyone mostly knows, it's been up and down with me and press. When it comes to fashion for relief, I want everyone to be able to be able to get something and to share in it and to be a part of it. I guess it, a lot of people think of fashion, it's quite frivolous, obviously it's a, it's a massive business. But we come together. When we need to come together, we absolutely come together and support each other and what they're doing and make it happen. And that's what fashion for relief is. <laughs> he uh, he's always got the works. Every Sunday he works it down. Yeah. 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 We had so many great people that came in and supported Fashion for Relief. One of my all-time favourites, who I've been a fan of since I was a child, was Boy George from Culture Club. And he came and graciously donated his hat. The 
British Fashion Awards. It's our equivalent of the CFDA Awards they have in America. And basically it's like British Fashion Oscars. To receive the Icon Award from my industry was uh, very emotional, humbling, and being the first woman of color to receive it was also humbling. It wasn't as much for me as it was for my culture. I felt like I was accepting it for all of us, especially for the young generation. Please welcome to the stage of design genius, Sir Johnny Hyde. Good evening. Um, it is an unimaginable honor to present the Fashion Icon Award this evening to a woman who is utterly extraordinary. Please welcome the British legend, the global superstar, Miss Naomi Campbell. My life right now is to support young emerging talent across the world. That's my next phase. But one of the emotions I want to say, the most important thing is going back to my mother, Valerie. You raised me single-handedly. You're both my mother and my father. You gave me the strength to go through the mistakes that every adolescent girl goes through. And I'm still a work in progress, but I'm still making mistakes. You believed in a three-year-old girl, but most people wouldn't when they said, I want to be a dancer, just like you. Um, you inspire me. And I would not be standing here without you. You are my whole being comes from you. And whatever success I've had is a testament to you. Thank you very much. I felt my award was part for my work and part for Fashion Free Leaf, of which the British Fashion Council have been so, so supportive. I remember people that are very supportive to me, so I want to be there for them. Until then, God bless you all. Please be safe and stay inside.